When it comes to creepy channels, you guys never seem to fail in delivery. Last time we made a list of creepy channels, it was like almost a year ago, so I figured with more horrifying shit lurking in reality, I might as well give y'all another list of creepy channels that I found while streaming. This time, however, we've got about six, so that's one more than the other one, and it's better, right? Well, let's get started. The first one is actually a trend I'm seeing recently in my inbox. Almost daily, I'm given suggestions of crazy videos or weird ARGs, and while I write most of them up of being way too boring to cover or too generic, I often find wild cards like this email, where instead of someone suggesting a creepy channel, it's in fact someone related to the creepy channel that contacted me. In what sense, I don't really know, but apparently this person believes that whoever made these videos is speaking gospel. The messenger goes by the name of Angel Rosas, and she believes truly that Temple OS is the quote, third temple of God, unquote. Now, Temple OS is in itself a massive topic to cover, too massive for this video, I'm afraid. If you do want a deep look into Temple OS and the creator behind it, I'd suggest looking up Down the Rabbit Hole and his Temple OS video. It's incredible, but sad nonetheless. To put it short, Temple OS was an operating system that, while intriguing, was full of biblical and religious overtones. The man behind the operating system was a paranoid schizophrenic by the name of Terry A. Davis, who sadly passed away nearly two years ago. While his inventions got him a ton of praise, the controversy surrounding him, that being his assault against his parents, his overzealous attitude on God, his horrible racist views on the world, or just the general crazy things that he speaks, far outweigh his accomplishments. Now, fast forward a bit and, well, Angel is now emailing me about Temple OS and these few videos made by Kohen Mit Willy, aka Cook with Willy. The videos provided to me were conspiracy theories on how Seattle was going to be nuked and how supposed Seattle attacks were going to be false flags for an even larger operation by North Korea to destroy the US. Now, as random as that seems, there was a point in time where Americans did believe North Korea was going to nuke America. I mean, that's pretty much all the time, but during the summer of 2019, there was a huge turning point. During this time, North Korea had been making big threats against America, and the tension between the both countries had been at its highest that year. There were even warhead tests that North Korea had done that shot scarily close to Japan, and seeing as how North Korea's anniversary was just a few months ago, well, it got a ton of conspiracy nuts anxious, including Willie, who theorized that Seattle would be the first target for North Korea's launched nuclear warheads. But as we all know, this never happened. So after the supposed dates on the attacks that were supposed to be on November 3rd, 2019 came and went, Willie stopped the conspiracy theories and then started talking about cancer and its deadliness, as well as, of course, nowadays, the coronavirus. Now, as weird as that is, I'm sure many of you seem weirder. Honestly, Willie is just a German conspiracy nut. There's really nothing too special about him. But the thing that fascinates me personally is that, well, Willie wasn't always this way, and his older videos are proof of this. The channel's name is, of course, Cooking with Willie in German, but why is it that he only makes conspiracy videos? What's with the name? Well, that's just not the case. See, if you go back a couple of years, Willie was a completely different person. Kochen mit Willi.de Ja, gar nichts mehr im Weg. Paul, hol doch schon mal die Kartoffeln aus dem Keller. Willi, das brauchen wir gar nicht. Ich habe doch noch von gestern acht gekochte Kartoffeln übrig. Das ist auch ein gutes Maß für zwei Personen. Zusätzlich benötigen wir noch für unsere Bratkartoffeln zwei Zwiebeln. Watching his videos, you'll notice that this is a completely different Willy. The man is making videos on cooking with his friends, and he's on camera, as opposed to his newer videos where he's a disembodied voice, talking nonsensically about his conspiracy theories. Tim Trus, there is a rare planetary constellation on November the 3rd, 2019. So the planets are in Seattle at 1.5 p.m. on November the 3rd, 2019. The planets, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, and the star, the sun, form a line. I don't know the odds, but I can imagine that this constellation is very rare. 
whereas his newer videos spelled doom and gloom. His older ones were much preppier, amateur in nature, and a little silly, sure, but who isn't when they first start up their YouTube channel, honestly. He has personality in his older videos, and he's seen smiling most of the time. So that begs the question, what exactly happened to Willie? Well, I can't say for sure. If you go to his website, it's still very much the same website as it was before he became a conspiracy nut, and it reflects his older videos too, an amateur, badly designed website with a zest of charm, a smiling chef, and his not too shabby looking food. Nothing here has changed. The only thing that actually has changed actually is the fact that he's starting to put up his thesis on these conspiracy theories on the websites, which weren't there previously when I visited this website on stream. It's a still of Willie's life put on halt. The dreams of a man who once wanted to be a YouTube chef. Here's hoping that Willie is happy being who he is instead of being trapped and doing something he doesn't really want to do. As for who Angel Rosas is, we probably won't ever know, because really, this email doesn't say much about her, nor does it say much about the website that she works for or the religion that she might be into. But then again, this really sounds like the kind of thought process that some crazy person has, so maybe Angel Rosas is somehow related to Willie, but again, I just can't be sure. All I have is this email, and nothing more. Rob G and Yurgna, or Angry Neighbor if we spell the name backwards, is a channel consisting of thousands upon thousands of videos that are just, well, sounds from someone's neighborhood, presumably the uploaders. Angry Neighbor's only purpose seems to be to just capture their neighbor's mischievous behavior and loud, rude, and annoying disturbances. However, this person's hatred towards their supposed rude neighbors have seemed to escalate to an obsession. As mentioned before, Angry Neighbor has uploaded over 7,000 videos, all featuring audio recordings of his neighbors. Funny thing is that when you actually watch any of these videos, you'll soon realize that they're really not that noisy. It just sort of sounds like a bunch of people outside their home talking on their front porch. And in, in fact, the audio quality of their conversation is sometimes eerily clear. Suggesting that the audio recorder or possibly the video camera was either pointing towards them on an open windowsill or literally right outside their backyard or front yard, or maybe even the balcony if they're living in an apartment. This was also pointed out by Atrocity Guide when she made her video on Angry Neighbor, but she came to a different conclusion that I really think is way more disturbing. What you've just heard are clearly footsteps across what sounds like grass, quickly approaching the audio recorder, then receding. If you didn't catch it, listen again. By the way, you should totally check out her videos. God, that one about Phoenix Jones? My God, that was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Check her out. Back to Angry Neighbor, though. There's really not much to say. Some videos have a bit of variety, often showing an image or perhaps even actual dimmed footage of abstract stuff as well. And there is one video that seems out of context. It's the camera pointing at this sign while there's almost little to no background noise. It seems to be maybe a construction site or I don't know. It's very bizarre and really, really weird. His visceral and hateful titles only highlight his absolute disgust and disdain for his neighbors. And seeing as how the man already uploads thousands of videos by himself without using any sort of bots, I can only imagine the man is not well mentally. 
His icon is of two pistols and I gotta be honest, I really really hope that the reason he hasn't uploaded in the past two years wasn't because he took things a bit too far confronting his neighbors. But if he is mentally ill, he might have taken things a little too far. Starting just a little over three years ago, a channel by the name of Mikhail Mikhail began uploading 34 videos in the span of just two days. Each and every one of these uploads have no description, no coherent title, and the videos themselves only last a few seconds, if even that. The videos without fail show this image of a man who we can assume is Mikhail Mikhail. The audio in each video seems to be a sample from a song and some of the videos have a different sample, probably from the same song? It's really hard to tell. What song this could be, I really have no idea. You can't even really string these songs together because there is no real pattern. It's not like the first upload on the channel has the first part of the song and the upload after has the next. No, honestly, I'm only assuming that these samples are from the same song just because they seem to have the same guitar riff and about the same-ish melody. But honestly, these samples could be from totally different songs. I, I don't know. If someone out there can please tell me what song this is, I would greatly appreciate it. And that goes for the identity of the man as well. Looking up Mikhail Mikhail, I mean, surprisingly doesn't yield any result, and reverse searching this face didn't bring much up either. My only guess is that somehow this was or is a test for, I don't know, some algorithm thing on YouTube. The most famous example of weird channels existing solely for the purpose to test something out was WebDriver Torso, which were a series of videos that were uploaded by the dozen daily. But at least with that channel, there did seem to be sort of order in the madness. This, however, doesn't seem to have any. Maybe it was used for face recognition software? Or maybe this face is somebody that doesn't actually exist. Whatever the case may be, we might not ever really know the truth. If you're a frequent viewer of my streams, you would know that my least favorite creepy content are often the ones that try too hard to scare you. Or the ones that are so very adamant at convincing you that they are master puzzle designers. Quite frankly, 9 times out of 10, that's just not the case. It takes a rare talent to truly make bizarre and mesmerizing content, and I truly believe Creepy Shed is one of those talents. Starting off 8 years ago, Creepy Shed pumped out a series of horror videos in a sporadic time frame, seemingly telling the story of an abusive family starting with mom, then with son, and ending just recently with dad. And unlike most other creepy channels that just sort of give up after a few videos, this one, like I said, is still going, with the last upload being as recent as last month. Now, if you're trying to look for a deep ARG with groundbreaking storylines, I'd say you're out of luck with this one. It does seem like there's a bit of abstract storytelling, especially since the titles are forming a sentence or perhaps a phrase, and I'm sure each video is showcasing a very important part of the plot thus far. However, in my opinion, 
it just sort of seems like creepy shed is mainly making videos to creep people out while occasionally telling a very vague story yet if you're going to dismiss it because of that then you'll probably miss out on some really bizarre and well-made videos i think it's a shame that nowadays people want deep args with over-the-top visuals and cringy acting a creepy channel made for the sake of just being creepy is just as good to me anyways as any arg with a deep and involved storyline so long of course as the content is good and creepy shed has good content it really invigorates me and makes me kind of excited to dive deeper into this little project whoever's project it may be and i want to know more about these mysterious creepy little videos unfortunately there's not really much there and who really knows when he's going to upload again this person might just upload in another eight years, but that's the thing that makes it so much more fascinating and that much cooler. I don't know. I'm just a, I'm just a big fanboy of this channel, to be honest. RRR, 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 or as I'm just going to call it from now on, R Cubed is a channel that I swear I don't even remember streaming. See, I have this playlist of all the creepy videos that I find while streaming, and the purpose of this playlist is to just remember which channels seem interesting enough to make a video on, or ones that I thought were just plain interesting altogether. Amongst them was this strange video with just question marks. Clicking on the video, I, I find this. So really it wasn't anything too interesting at first, but then I explored the channel more and, well, I think I might have stumbled upon some psychopath's channel. Unlike Creepy Shed, where it's a channel full of creepy videos made by someone who probably does this for a hobby, RQ seemed much more maniacal. Take this video for example, the thumbnail is a very distorted image, and the title? Well, there is none. When you watch the video, there is no audio whatsoever, and the quality of the video seems to deteriorate at random times. At one point in the video, the person holding the camera seemingly sees something in the darkness, something perhaps scary enough to have them run as far away as possible. And the description doesn't really help, well, describe the video any better. We can see that it's a rather long paragraph of what seems to be nonsensical writing, but the last part of this description is what makes it more interesting. Normally, the sound of rushing water would wake me up. And what do you know? A video called Sound of Rushing Water can be found on his channel, which at first seems normal. That is, until you watch a bit further and, and find that a few segments of the video is cut out by a white void. The sound is still intact, however. Each of these videos have some small oddity that makes them unique in some way. Even the most normal video called YouTube Test is strange due to the fact that the description says my first video, when in reality, this would be R Squared's fifth video. The first one being a month prior to this one, which also seems normal at first, but it too contains an odd video glitch and sporadic description. Yet something about this video just seems odd, and it's something I feel pretty much sums up the overall theme of this channel. If you listen closely, there is a tapping in the background in the video. It sounds like a rhythmic tapping, almost sounding like a beat of its own. However, there's something a bit too coordinated about this tapping. Thus far, this channel hasn't uploaded anything for no reason. Every upload, no matter how mundane it seems, has always had some strange thing about it, whether it be the video errors or cryptic descriptions. This, however, seems clean, but I can't help but shake off that tapping in the background somehow is important. I would say it's Morse code, but when it's translated, the Morse code doesn't really seem to make any sense. It almost sounds like the translation would be SOS or OSS, but the code for both the S's back to back would be missing one dot. Unless, of course, this message is actually 
O5 or 5O. Now while this doesn't actually mean anything to us, if it even should mean anything, what is fascinating about this is that this beat and the other videos tell us one thing. If this channel really is an ARG, then it's a sound-based ARG. Every single one of these videos, aside from the description, has something to do with the sound being off, whether it literally being turned off, or if it means altering the way things sound, reversing audio, distorting messages, or maybe even mentioning certain sounds. It all revolves around the theme of sound being important some way, somehow. Maybe, I don't know, I could be wrong, but honestly a sound-based ARG just sounds like a really cool idea, so maybe I'm just projecting my own feelings, I just want to be right about this one. But to be fair though, many ARGs use audio for many different reasons, be it for puzzles, hiding images within spectrograms, so on and so forth. However, this channel does seem to focus on what you need to hear as opposed to what is shown, because frankly, what is shown isn't all that special aside from a few glitches. Take for example these pink videos, which all have one still image followed by weird distorted audio and music. Now, currently, this potential ARG is still going on. The uploader has continued to upload since last month, but the videos nowadays seem a little different because now they just seem to have out of place background footage followed by some German text to speech audio. Name. Dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, dein Essen schmecke. Morgen Mittag und gestern. Gib uns irgendeine Art von Brot, die du nicht definieren kannst. Trag mich hinter dich. Wie ich dir hinter mich trage, lass mich los, biege gleich rechts ab, führe uns in die Stadtmitte, dann können wir parken, und wir gehen die Treppen auf, und der What this could all mean is currently unknown, and if you guys are in any way interested, then just go ahead and check the channel, see for yourself. I might just cover the entirety of this channel by itself or its own video, but for now, I'm just gonna end it here. Now I did say that I was going to cover six channels on this video, however, the sixth one is going to be a little bit difficult to talk about. See, because last time we made this list video, I had five, and the last one ended with a Japanese video. And this one isn't really quite different. We're going to end off with this channel in Japanese, which, while I don't have the direct translation, I do have a poorly made Google translated translation. Uh, so I guess this channel is called Goodbye in the Dream of a Dolphin. Sure. You'll see that the name of this channel is actually the description of the about page of the channel as well, and the only upload that this channel has shares the same exact name as the channel itself. Now while the video itself isn't totally creepy, I mean yes, in, in a way it is, because it's a low res image of this anime girl drawn probably by some 16 year old or probably even a 10 year old, and while it's mostly in Japanese, in fact it is completely in Japanese except for the one part where she says Yahoo, Yahoo! there are some parts that indicate that whoever this uploader is is supposedly dead. Because at one point, there is this image of the girl, or rather the crude drawing of the girl, zooming out and it is revealed that she is, well, dead. But aside from her obnoxious and somewhat humorous behavior in this video, if you actually go to the website that she links, well, you'll find something even deeper and probably way scarier. The website iruka459.web.fc2.com is a website that I believe belongs to whoever made this channel. If you click on the little girl, you will get an image of her with her throat slit open. And then, the more you click, you see that her body begins to deteriorate, more mangled, more bloody, even gorier than before. And, as you continue to click further and further, you'll see that it becomes a bloody stain on the floor. Then, as soon as you click even more, the entire body begins to rebuild itself as if nothing really happens, then followed by a jump scare. Now, unfortunately, 
from when I recorded this on my live streams, there were supposed to be sounds. However, due to Flash Player issues, I never actually got the sounds to work at all, even using different browsers such as Firefox and Internet Explorer and Chrome. Not once did the sounds ever work, but if you see other people's videos, then you can see that they're supposed to be way more than what appears and you guys might actually get more out of this than I would because I just never got the sound to work at all. If you click on the anime girl, you'll see that there are multiple different squares just going from one side of the screen to the other. And if you click on any one of them, you'll just be led to a different jump scare or perhaps just a different part of the quote unquote story that this entire ARG is trying to tell. Again, it helps to have audio, but if you don't know Japanese, then it might be all for nothing because she mainly narrates in Japanese and has a lot of web comics in this website uh, that are in Japanese. So if you don't know, it's probably going to be very confusing for you, especially if you don't have the sound. So while I can't say anything much about the quote unquote story being told here, I will say that there is one interesting aspect of this website. If you click on one of these squares, I believe it's the very last one to the bottom, you'll be led to a store and this store hosts a ton of different creepy images plastered on shirts. And these shirts are apparently purchasable. Like you can actually buy merch from this ARG and I don't, even know why and I don't know if it has any sort of significance honestly it's just kind of hard to tell and that's why unfortunately I'll have to end this right here because I don't have anything else further to say I do have an offer from a fan that would like to actually translate some Japanese stuff for me so if I ever get in contact with them again I'll make sure to update you guys about this weird little channel as well as the other weird things that I've tried to cover in Japanese that well I couldn't because they're in Japanese but again I'll just have to end it here now, aside from the Japanese channels, there are definitely some channels that I wanted to add that I unfortunately could not, mainly because they're channels that I really would like to dedicate an entire video to, either because they're really, really interesting or because they just had too much info for just one slot on my top five list, or rather at this point, top six. I'll make sure to cover the other channels that I wasn't able to talk about at a later date. Maybe I'll even revisit some of the channels that I already talked about because I'm sure there are much deeper things with some of the things I've already said. So we'll see at an updated video. Thank you so much for watching thus far. I love you all so much. Goodbye.